Hello everyone, how are you doing today? This is Dr. Ayan from the Veterinary Anatomy channel. Today we will dissect the long muscles of the thigh or what's called the hamstring muscles in the dog. So let's get started. The hamstring muscles uh, or the long muscles of the thigh includes the biceps muscle of the thigh or biceps femoris muscle, the semitendinosus muscle or semimembranosus muscle and finally the abductor muscle of the thigh or abductor pleuris caudatus. And now we will talk about the long muscles of the thigh or what's called hamstring muscles in this case we are talking about uh, four long muscles the first one is the biceps femoris this big one here of course uh, this is a lateral view of the hind limb of course so here we have uh, the biceps femoris caudal to the biceps femoris we have a very small muscle called the um, caudal uh, abductor pleuris muscle this one here, after that we have the semitendinosus and semimembranosus. And let's start with the first one, which is the biceps femoris muscle. The biceps femoris muscle is a huge muscle uh, found just under the skin here. Once you remove the skin, you can find the biceps femoris. The biceps femoris originate from the ischial tuberosity, this uh, projection which we can palpate here from the ischial tuberosity and uh, at the same time originate also from the sacrotuberose ligament. If you remember the sacrotuberose ligament, uh, that ligament extends between the sacrum to the ischial tuberosity or tuber sciaticum. Let me show you now the, the bone here again. This is the normal situation. So here we can see the origin of the biceps femoris, which is the uh, ischial tuberosity, this projection here, and at the same time, as I said before, from here up to the sacrum, uh, we will dissect it later, we have the sacrotuberose ligament, which forms also the origin of the biceps femoris. The biceps femoris moves down here and inserts into different regions. The first one is the uh, the fascia lata, if we want to include it here, it inserts also to the patella, it inserts also to the tibial crest, tibial crest here in this uh, area here, the tibial crest, you know, which is uh, located just uh, under the tibial tuberosity, and also to the uh, cranial surface of the tibia here, to the fascia of the stifle here, this fascia here, and finally, let me also tell you that the uh, biceps femoris uh, inserts or send also another ligament to the calcaneus, to the calcaneus. Again, the biceps femoris originate from the uh, ischial tuberosity, from the sacrotuberal ligament, and inserts to the fascia lata, to the patella, to the uh, tibial crest, cranial surface of the tibia, to the fascia found in this area, and finally to the calcaneus. To the calcaneus. Uh, again, if we look at this point, this is the tibia and fibula of the dog. So the one of the or, uh, insertion of the biceps femoris is to this area here, the crest, tibial crest, and at the same time to this area, cranial surface of the tibia, and finally, of course. Uh, it sends, uh, as I said before, uh, like uh, uh, extra ligament, extra ligament to the calcaneus, to the calcaneus, which is this, you know, that one of the tarsal bones, to the tubercalcanium, this one here. The biceps femoris uh, is innervated by this proximal part is innervated somehow by the branches from the caudal gluteal nerve. The distal part of the biceps uh, femoris is innervated by muscular branches from the uh, sciatic nerve and specifically from the tibial nerve, which is a branch of the sciatic nerve in this area. The function of this uh, muscle, the biceps femoris, is to extend also the hip joint, extend the hip joint, and at the same time also elevate the hind limb, elevate the hind limb, 
and if you want also to consider this tendon here so we can also see uh, say that the biceps femoris is a flexor of the stifle joint flexor of the stifle joint so contraction of this muscle will do this this um, uh, movement you know extension of the hip joint flexion of the stifle joint and even if we consider this one it's also somehow this small tendon of the biceps femoris extend also the tarsal joint this was the biceps femoris in the dog so now if we want to see this small muscle just located behind the, the biceps femoris we have to dissect the biceps femoris move it cranially a little bit like this and just behind it and under it we can see this small muscle here this small muscle it's a thin muscle but very long muscle of course start from also the sacrotuberose ligament there and inserts to the fascia in this area here this is the abductor muscle of the um, thigh abductor muscle of the thigh or the abductor chlorus caudalis abductor chlorus caudalis this muscle from the knee abduct actually abducts uh, the, the hind limb is innervated by branches from the sciatic nerve so abductor chlorus caudalis or the abductor muscle of the thigh let me try to show you exactly the whole muscle is this small muscle found in this area here the next muscle which we can the next muscle which we can see just behind the biceps femoris here if you dissect it and separate it here you can see this long muscle called the semitendinosus muscle the semitendinosus muscle um, start also or originates from the ischial tuberosity of the ischium we will show you the bone later and inserts to the proximal tibia and to the at the same time to the calcaneal tuberosity calcaneal tuberosity or tuber calcani so again the semitendinosus muscle originate from the ischial tuberosity let me show you now the bone so here let's put it just next to it like this so it originates from ischial tuberosity and inserts uh, inserts to the proximal tibia to the proximal tibia here and at the same time it sends also like a ligament uh, sorry uh, a tendon to the tuber calcani or calcaneal tuberosity of the calcaneus the innervation of uh, this muscle of course by the sciatic nerve as i said before from the sciatic nerve which we are going to dissect later gives a lot of uh, muscular branches for the innervation of uh, a lot of muscles one of them is the semitendinosus muscle and uh, the function of this muscle again look at the origin insertion the function is also to extend the hip joint and at the same time like the biceps femoris is to flex the stifle joint to flex the stifle joint again semitendinosus is a flexor uh, extensor of the hip joint extensor of the hip joint and flexor of the stifle joint this one the semitendinosus muscle just caudomedially caudomedially to this muscle we can find another muscle called the semimembranosus muscle yeah the semimembranosus muscle i will try to show you the semimembranosus muscle by moving the hind limb like this uh, this is the semimembranosus muscle the semimembranosus muscle as you can see originate also from the ischial tuberosity and inserts to the distal femur and to the medial proximal uh, tibia again it originates also from this area the caudal area of the ischial tuberosity and inserts to the to the proximal uh, femur this area here medially of course medially and uh, uh, to the uh, to the medial proximal tibia so if we put them together like this so this is the insertion area of the semimembranosus 
medial femur bone and the medial proximal surface of the tibia. The function of uh, this muscle, the semimembranosus muscle, it's a huge muscle if you, if you follow, no? It's a huge muscle and uh, after that we will try also to dissect it and show you exactly this muscle which could be somehow divided there here into two parts. Uh, the function of this uh, muscle is also to extend uh, the hip joint, extend the hip joint here. Uh, the semimembranosus muscle is innervated by also a break, uh, muscular branches from the sciatic nerve. This was the semimembranosus muscle. So at the end, uh, let's say, so in this group we talked about four muscles. Starting from the cranio-laterally, here we have the biceps femoris, the biceps femoris, just called to the biceps femoris. Here we can see a small muscle called the abductor muscle of the thigh, and next to it, caudally, we have the semitendinosus muscle, and finally, we have the semimembranosus muscle.